Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Not Another Watch Channel. Uh, today, I finally got in a new watch. It is a Pagani Design Daytona, I guess I'd call it. Uh, you'll see why. So here, here's the box it came in. It's Pagani Design. This one took forever because of coronavirus. I ordered this in the beginning of March. Uh, the packaging is almost identical to the last one I reviewed. I believe that one came with a bracelet in it, uh, but this one does not. This one also includes the screw for the screw links to remove, which is nice, but not totally needed. Uh, but packaging, uh, more or less identical. It's very well packed. It, it, the foam in there holds the watch pretty well, so always great, great packaging from Pagani. So here's the watch itself. It is a Daytona type watch. Uh, it has the rainbow gem bezel around it. That's why I wanted to get it. I wanted to really get something crazy, just have a little bit of fun, and I saw this. And I don't really have a Daytona in my collection, so I thought this would be a fun way to introduce them. Uh, I didn't really look super closely at it when I bought it. I just saw, oh, that's a Daytona Pagani. I've wanted to try one of those. Let's grab one. So upon opening it and taking a, taking it out of the box, I realized that the three subdials on this watch are not actually a chronograph. It is the left one, as you can see here, is the day of the week. The far right one is the date, and the bottom one is a 24-hour clock. So that top pusher controls the day of the week, and the bottom pusher controls the date, and then the 24-hour clock is just as you adjust the actual time itself. As you could also see, it's a skeleton, so you see straight through the face into the movement, but it's kind of blocked since it's a Daytona. You don't really see completely everything, and the back has this weird kind of pattern on the cover, so you, you can't really see perfectly into the movement, but it's nice to know that you can kind of see it, and it doesn't look really bad in my opinion. The gems themselves, they don't look amazing. They don't really have any shine to them, even in the light. I'll try to put a video in here, but here's also a close-up of them. They don't really not glow, but they don't shine. Light, when it hits it, it doesn't like pop. They're just kind of overall, they're there, they're colorful, but I, I, I call them dull in a certain way. They, they just don't jump out at you like I've seen other ones do. Uh, these are just, they're kind of flat. The bracelet on this is a pretty standard oyster type bracelet. It has a nice taper to it. Uh, it has polished center links and then just brushed end links, which I think is a nice look for this. That uh, is also the same on the clasp, but the center where it says Pagani Design is polished and the rest is brushed. But the cool thing about this that my other Pagani does not have and that I haven't seen on very, very many uh, cheap knockoff type watches is this has the diver extension in the clasp. You pop it out and you get probably about another five millimeters like the Rolex does. And you just pop it back in to uh, go back to your original size. And I think that's a great touch for a watch that was less than $100 total, even if you just buy it and use this bracelet on another watch to have that little diver extension. Hot, sweaty days, you wanna give yourself a little extra room, pop it open, it's great, it's why I love my Rolex. As you could probably see from earlier, the pushers and the main crown are all screw down, which I think is great. Uh, the back of it says it's water resistant to 100 meters, and based on how the screw downs feel, I actually would really trust this watch in the water. I don't trust some of the Invictas, they don't feel, even the screw downs just don't feel tight or like they're sealing properly, but all of these, including the little, the pushers, uh, they all feel very, very firm. Uh, it is, if you pop it open here, it is hackable when you're setting the time, and then it is also manually winding on that very first position, which is very nice, uh, and then it just, it screws in beautifully. The loom, as you can see here, is really nothing special. It's just uh, two little dots for the 12 o'clock. The rest are single circles for the hours, and then just the hour and minute hand. No second hand are lit up. It doesn't last super long. It doesn't disappear super uh, quickly. It's incredibly average is the way I would put it. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great. It's just average. I would strongly recommend you guys look at these. They're on AliExpress. There's tons of them. They have this in a black face, a white face, the skeleton one here. If you think it's cool, I would go grab one. Strong recommendation on those. It may take you two or three months like mine took, but I'd say they're, they're great watches. Everything I've gotten from Pagani so far is quality. They look good. They feel good. Uh, so definitely check them out if you're interested. 
and let me know what else you guys want to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hopefully I'll have a watch quicker this time than it took to get this last one, and I could get another video up soon. But in the meantime, hope everyone's staying safe. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know your comments, your suggestions, likes, dislikes, everything. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.